What's up, everybody? Well, I'm gonna, getting ready to back out here. But uh, people always ask me where the name TNN Services came from. So, um, so I guess I'd do a video about where the name came from. Uh, I was working for a heat and air company and I was on a job and the owner of that company whose job I was on, <clears throat> me and him were, were talking and he said he was be willing to pay a guy, um, you know, so much money a week to be on his payroll, meaning the licensed heat and air guy. Um, and the amount he was offering was more, it was double what I was making. Now, I was making pretty good money, so double money of what I was already making was damn good. So, <clears throat> it took me about two weeks to think about it. And then I thought about it and I, I called him up and then it took him another two weeks to say, you know, yeah, let's do this. Well, the company he, the company he was running or owned uh, was a, a uh, contracting company that did work for Fannie Mae, uh, you know, uh, when your house gets foreclosed, uh, that Fannie Mae. And he did the work directly for Fannie Mae. Well, I, uh, so when I went to work for them, I wasn't a normal hourly employee anymore. I was a, um, a subcontractor. So I had to have a name. So I decided, well, I'll call the company. <clears throat> so I decided I'd call the company TNN Services. And the T is my oldest son's name, which is Tim. And the N is my youngest son's name, which is uh, Nick. So there you go, TNN Services. That's how it was born. Well, when I, you know, working for this company, it wasn't that bad. Uh, the hours, I was probably working 90 hours a week, seven days, um, seven day a week, never had a day off. And what I would be doing, I was doing the heating and air, of course, uh, uh, when we needed it. Uh, and I was actually breaking in the houses and, um, you know, changing the locks and rekeying the locks uh, which was a cool job but it only lasted about a year and a half because they was really unorganized and you know um, uh, after a year and a half of working 90 hours a week and never having a day off and you know it, it was just it had gotten to me so the last day I worked there, they would call about five or six times a day and ask me the same question uh, every day. I mean, without fail. Five different phone calls, the exact same question. It was like, well, can't you people figure it out? You know, do I have to answer the same thing five times? So finally, they caught me on a very bad day. Uh, I wasn't sick, I was just plain flat out tired and uh, needed a break. So I, I answered the phone, they asked the question and I said, you know what, I'm done. When I get done with this job here, I'm done. So, so I said, if you want me to do any more work for y'all, heating and air wise, it'll be uh, invoice based only. And so, you know, I, I, I did do some more heating and air work for them for a little bit longer. And the last job that I was supposed to do was a job that, that I had went out and I looked at and I bid for the company. And uh, because Fannie Mae, they only give you so much money in the job. And well, that's okay if you're doing the whole job, but if all you're doing is one little part, it's just not even, it's just not even enough money to get up and go to work for them. So <clears throat> they wanted me to do that particular job for that same amount that we had to bid the job for. 
And I told him, no, I, I can't do it for that price. It's just too cheap. And she said, well, you're going to have to do it. And I told her to get bent. And that was it. That was the last time I ever heard from them. Um, um, so, anyway, so, so when I left, when I walk away from that company, you know, after being, uh, working all those hours, I finally, you know, I had gotten so tired of it. When I left, I had no backup plan. I had a heating and air license and a truck and my tools. So I had to do something. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to work for anybody else because I just don't like authority. I don't want people telling me what I have, what I can and can't do. So there you go. Being self-employed is about the only way you're going to be able to accomplish that. And but you know, I still have to listen to the customers, of course, because you know they are the bread and butter of the company. But you know, that's so so there you go. Um, that's how TNN Services was born.